I'm Ben Metzler for the Waste Management World. We're in Munich at EPAC Nassau 2012. I'm with Tom on the T-Tech stand. Tom, can you tell us a bit about the company? Well, we are a Norwegian-based company. We uh, have uh, specialized in three different segments. One is for the mining, one is for food, and what we represent here is the recycling. So basically, we develop and manufacture and market uh, systems for sensor-based sorting. Any kind of sensors to, to be able to detect the material and any kind of uh, characteristics of the material and then do the sorting of the material as you can see here. What we do here is to, as a demo, uh, for the customer to really see in real life how you can sort the material. In this case, we are sorting on PET bottles, but it can be any type of, of uh, really of any kind of material we can sort. And I understand you've got some new innovations coming for free for this type of machine. Yes, we do. Uh, this is what we call Generation 4, uh, the auto sort, which is a product uh, existing for uh, about 15 years now. Uh, and in our foreground is always to make new, um, new developments for the product in the best interest for the customer. And what we have done here is to make sure that we get a much better um, sealing of the product. You get less power consumption and also the simplicity. And it really is, is, is a general term for it. Excellent. Should we take a look at how some of the innovations work? Yes, certainly. So this is the secret room. Not so secret, but still it's showing our new new thing. And conventionally, you will see that most of the systems out there they have external light source, right? So that you can uh, lighten the, the material on the conveyor. What is new here is that we have taken out the light source from external, put it into the box, and now you can see how we scan. Uh, the, the material, you will soon see that it's one line of, of light and uh, the, the advantage is that you take away all external light source and thus reducing any kind of uh, power consumption, uh, you reduce the, um, the uh, maintenance as I talked about and, and also sealing the unit so that in this dust environment you get a much more sealed unit which is again an advantage for the customer. So, Tom, can you tell us about the power consumption of this? Well, this one, uh, the new system is uh, doing about 200 watts uh, on a meter uh, width compared to the 800 on, on the old system. Again, if you compare, compare that to the competitors, they're doing about 10 times that. So, compared to competitors, we're very well off, and even to the old system, we're also much better. Than so, that's going to be considerably reduced running costs. Absolutely. And also, understand less maintenance with uh, just two bulbs. Much less maintenance. We, we're talking reducing about two thirds of uh, the maintenance cost compared to the to, to current TTEC system. Uh, compared to the competitors, I don't know, but at least we like to compare to ourselves. What we see is that our customers, they are focusing on two main things, accuracy and reliability. And both of these points are reflected in new development uh, from us to reflect what they really want. Again, focus is on the customer's need and how to be able that they get the best product and the best uh, payback on their product. Being the market leader, you could ask why would we need to develop the product further? As you know, there is a big gang of companies trying to catch up. So it was important for us to continue investing in the product and thus we have developed this new thing, the AutoSort 4. What we really have here is an attention getter for new customers so they understand what this is really about on the sensor-based sorting. The latest development is that we always show that we are ahead of the game and we are developing new things that is uh, reflecting the needs of the customer. Tom, I'm sure our reader's going to be fascinated to hear about your latest technology. Thanks for your time. Thank you for dropping by.